Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Nalini. I am an early childhood educator, child psychology educator and a certified parenting coach. Welcome to the first episode of Transforming Parenthood. I am so so happy to see all the responses that we have got till now. It's just been a day since I announced this and there are a lot of responses already. There are a lot of questions, a lot of uh, detailed explanations of the problems and I am really really happy to serve you all. So the first question that I have taken from uh, is one of a parent whose child is 2.10 years old and the complaint that she has is this have to go for work so have to leave the child with my sister's mother his tantrum and adamancy is more nowadays have joined her nursery nearby he's happy in school is what i got to know but at home he cries for all each and everything I try to explain him what you want, please tell instead of crying because we don't understand when you're crying. He still shouts and repeats the same thing. I get angry sometimes or I keep quiet. He never leaves that issue, even for half an hour. He will continue to cry, unable to wait until that time. Please help, unable to do sleep talk also, becoming very tired. I also receive complaint that my son is crying and adamant only after I come home or when he is with me. Otherwise, he's very good boy. I will be like, okay, at least he is so cooperative with others. Okay, so after we read through this questions or the so the problems that she has, the main thing is one important thing that is missing. So let me come to it one by one. First thing that you are seeing is that the child is very nice in school, but only at home. Uh, the child is always crying. The child is always adamant and throwing a lot of tantrums. So the first thing is, first thing we have to understand that home is the place where we will show all our emotions, right? Even us, we don't show all our emotions at office or when we are with in a new place. I don't show my angry or my, all of my emotions in YouTube channel, right? But I show all my emotions when I'm in home because my home is my safe place. My home is where I belong to. So I show all of my emotions, whether it is happiness or sadness or anger or frustration or being upset or whatever it is, I show it wholeheartedly at my home. Uh, so welcoming each emotion is very critical, especially at the age, uh, at the very tender age, at the very early age. How the emotions are being received is how the child or anybody will try to open up right so when we are happy when we are happy and all smiling everybody is welcoming that emotion so happily but when i am angry when i am sad or when i am upset when i'm crying nobody is willing to accept those emotions but what happens internally in my body in my physically is that i really want to vent it out i really want to cry it out if i'm feeling like crying if i'm sad i want to show it out if i'm angry that is also i'm showing out so those emotions when they are welcomed because it is very natural when they are understood by the trusted adults then we feel so much relieved for example, you are very stressed out and if you are very very angry or if you are very frustrated, the more you control within yourself is when you keep thinking about it or you, you keep feeling more stressful and it will react in other ways, in other actions that you do. But when you vent it out or when you start showing it the, or when you uh, show it out or when you talk about it, you will feel much better okay so suppressing an emotion or suppressing a feeling will never help anybody so let's come to the child's point the child has a need okay so whenever you see a child is throwing a tantrum or child is throwing an adamancy or whatever you call it when you feel that your child is actually throwing a lot of tantrums it means that there is an unmet need for the child which needs attention okay and uh, when that attention is needed the child will try in different ways to gain your attention either it is positive attention or it is negative attention the child doesn't care as long as they get your attention that is enough for example if the child is trying to uh, come to you and uh, connect with you in a very positive way in some of the positive ways and if you ignore it okay 
So the child will next the child will start doing a negative attention. They will try to get your negative attention. Let me tell you this with an example. Okay. So for example, just uh, imagine I am sitting in my chair. I am using my mobile phone. I am lost in it. Okay. I am just crawling my social media and I am lost in it. My child is uh, uh, sitting on the floor and she is trying to show me something. She has something and she is trying to show me something. She is calling me again and again. Amma, amma, amma. See this, see this, see this. But I am lost, right? I am looking at my mobile phone. I am lost inside. I don't hear what my child is doing. I think that is my, you know, uh, my self-care time. So I am just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling and I am ignoring my child. And what happens is the child is very tired. They are already are calling you again and again and you are not responding. So what happens? The child will throw that thing. So when the child is throwing something, immediately we will stop everything, whatever we do. And we will look at the child. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you throwing this? We are giving them the attention that they needed. So what the child will think? Oh, okay. So this is simple. So when I'm asking her or I'm calling her or I'm doing something, I'm asking something, there is no response. But when I am throwing something or I am hitting somebody or I'm hitting something, immediately I get response. Immediately I get attention. So this is what I need. Let me not waste time talking or calling. Let me immediately jump to this thing. I'll hit or throw things so that I'll get the attention. All that the child needs is attention. Whether it is positive or negative, that doesn't it doesn't matter. So that is what happens when the child is actually throwing a lot of tantrums. It means that there is a need which needs attention. So you have to figure out what is that need. First point. Second point, when the child is in peak tantrum or peak, uh, you know, uh, in extreme uh, thing or when the child started uh, you know beham, becoming restless that time when you are asking your child why are you doing this what are you what is bothering you what what why why all these questions will never help because i'll tell you how the brain works okay so how is the child's brain or anybody's brain works is uh, when you are very stressed or when you are you know at the peak of your anger or peak of your frustration or peak of your sadness or whatever it is your logical brain will shut it down it won't process any of the logical thinking only the emotional brain takes over so the emotions are at the peak okay so emotions are at the peak and the logical brain is sleeping okay so when the emotional brain is at the peak and when you are asking what has happened what has happened why are you doing this what has happened why are you doing this these questions will only add up fuel to the fire because the child's emotional brain is only peak and the child is not able to think so when the emotional brain is at the peak and the logical brain is not able to think when you keep asking why what why what the child will try to think but they can't okay they, they feel helpless and they will start uh, emotion the emotions will become very very worse and they will be uh, heightened emotions they will be showing up the heightened emotions whatever it is even the smallest thing if you keep asking why 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 that will be blowing out okay so that is what happening so the first thing that you do when your child is doing a tantrum or a, a crying or whatever it is first you validate their feeling that you are feeling this way you tell them how they feel because they are very confused they don't know what their uh, physical body is telling them what their emotional brain is telling them they are not aware of the, that yet okay and uh, adding to that only the happy feeling is being welcomed so happily and all the other feelings are being suppressed by other members in the family when the child starts crying immediately everybody says hey don't cry don't cry don't cry and the child can't help themselves because they have the urge to cry right now now and all that they hear is don't cry don't cry don't cry the child will immediately think then what i'm supposed to do i can't stop crying i want to cry so that is what happening so when in the child is crying or when the child is throwing a tantrum first calm down yourself and tell to the child you are feeling upset you are feeling angry you are feeling frustrated so you are giving them the name of the feeling Okay, name for the feeling so that makes them oh I feel this way okay so that is what the child is actually learning and the child will you know pause 
and try to listen to what you are trying to say and the next step is another important step when you validate the feeling the next step is embracing and accepting their emotions is very important right from the heart okay it is not just by mouth word of mouth you accept their feelings but from your heart you have to accept their feeling that it is okay to feel that way okay so after you do that you can give them a choice or you can give them uh, you know a choice to do or you can be firm with your boundaries you can still say that it, this is not allowed right now but we can do this later can we do this instead so these kind of choices will come later and only when you validate the child's feeling and connect with them they will hear what you are saying it is not like listening to you at least they will hear what you are saying so when your child is crying when your child is throwing tantrum first go to their level okay go to their level make eye contact and validate how they feel validate what they have in their mind because asking why and what will not help because the child itself doesn't know you also doesn't know okay you can't expect your child to tell what is running in their mind even for adults when we are in very stressful mood if someone will come and ask us why 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 we be like even i don't know why that's why i'm here like this right so the same thing happens with the child also at least we have the developed brains they still have the developing brains right so when you validate the feeling and when you accept their emotions as natural as it is the child will feel belonged to and the child will hear and trust whatever you say is for their good and they will hear for whatever you are saying and the next thing that you had posted uh, that you had mentioned is the child is cooperative with others but only when i am there only when i am around the child is always crying always uh, uh, doing this doing that etc so the one thing that is missing and what the child is actually seeking is the connection with you okay so the connection with you as you have mentioned you are a working parent which means you might be away from him for a longer period of time this is for all the working parents i know this you will be very tired after a long work day i know you are uh, you know you want to hit the bed right after you enter the home and you want to all you want uh, after you reach home is to eat and then you want to sleep i understand that completely but when we are looking at from the child's perspective the child is actually waiting for you the whole day to see you to hug you to connect with you at least for a few minutes uh, after you reach home so all that the child is need, needs is the connection with you you might be present with them you might be physically present with them but are you connecting with the child emotionally is my question so if i know you are very tired i know you are very very uh, you know stressful but trust me if you start connecting with your child without any distraction at least 10 minutes a day when a child goes to sleep when you guys go to sleep it will be very very happy for yourself too and your child too so once you reach back home uh go and hug your child tell them wow you were so good today amma was out and you were so good what did you do all day today like that you build up a conversation with them let every every other thing can wait everything else can wait first few minutes when you connect with your child and you can tell the child okay now i'll go and do this thing and i'll come back again and then you go do something and uh, once you are done with all the uh, night chores and everything and when you come back to bed you can take some 5 minutes to connect with the child talk to the child about their things and you can also tell them some story sing them some song you can make it a very special time that 5 to 10 minutes you can make it as a special time you can tell the child that oh yeah now come now we are going to have a special time okay so you can make a ritual uh maybe while you go to sleep you can make it a ritual with your child to have a 5 minutes of special bonding time with them so what you can do you have to keep away all the distractions be it toys or whatever toys mobile phones whatever especially mobile phones keep it away okay so have a 5 minutes special bonding time you tell your child that now 5 minutes we are going to have a special time in this we are going to keep away all the things and we are going to just uh, 
डू वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट मी टू डू एंड यू कैन आस्क योर चाइल्ड टू डू आस्क दैम टू इंस्ट्रक्ट यू विद वॉट एवर दे वॉन्ट टू डू सिंस यू चाइल्ड इज ऑलरेडी गोइंग टू स्कूल यू कैन ऑल्सो गिव दम आइडियाज लाइक डू यू वॉन्ट टू टीच मी समथिंग डू यू वॉन्ट टू इमिटेट योर टीचर समथिंग लाइक दैट एंड टू पॉइंट टेन इज अ वेरी नाइस थिंग टाइम टू प्रिटेन प्लेस राइट सो दिल अप प्रिटेन प्लेस यू कैन डू सम प्रिटेन प्लेस और यू कैन रीड बुक और यू कैन जस्ट कडल अप एंड सिट डाउन विदाउट ए टॉकिंग एनी थिंग और यू कैन सिंग और यू कैन डांस और यू कैन डू एनी थिंग दैट यू मे लाइक ओके सो दिस पर्टिकुलर फाइव मिनट्स ऑफ स्पेशल टाइम इज गोन बी वेरी वेरी हेल्पफुल एंड दिस फाइव मिनट्स कैन ब्रिंग अ लॉर्ड ऑफ चेंज विद इन योर सेल्फ एंड फॉर योर चाइल्ड इट मे बी डिफिकल्ट इन द बिगिनिंग बट trust me this is the only solution that you may be having because the child needs your connection the child seeks your connection so that is why they are trying a different ways of communicating that to you the child cannot communicate with words uh, that i want this i want to spend time with you amma i want to play with you amma they cannot tell you that so they are uh, they all that they know is only crying or communicating through crying right that is the survival thing that the child is born with so giving them words is our responsibility giving them uh, the labels or names for their feelings is our responsibility you can talk to your child saying oh you are very sad amma is uh, leaving away you are very sad that uh, i'm not able to be with you but see this is what i am doing this see this is what i did the whole day in the office you can also share your things that you do at office so that your child will know oh what amma is doing oh this is what amma is doing and your child is looking up to you and growing up uh, you are raising your child uh, being an inspiration to your child right so you want to make yourself that you are happy and your child uh, is um, you know all that the child needs is connection Uh, your child no need toys or no need any fancy things but all that the child needs is your presence and your connection with them when you are present so being present is not just physical but also uh, emotional so try to do this for a week and see how things are going to change i'm sure uh, things will be changing so even if you're not able to do any of the other things in the initial stage right from today right after you uh, go back to your home hug your child so tight cuddle your child so tight do like this and sway them around Uh, turn around and have a cuddling and uh, laugh with them without any reasons just you know you can even play this game like tickling game uh, if you are a tamil person you might know papu kadanji papu kadanji nandu varudhu nari varudhu so all these things will give them the oxytocin or the uh, important things for their brains to that is a brain stimulation too so the happy and loving moments are something that we make from ourselves so stop complaining and start doing this it's a very very small small steps but right now if you start doing it it is going to be wonderful for you to have a great relationship with your uh, child uh, and never feel guilty that you are working and you're not able to be present with your child 24 bar 7 trust me it is not so easy to go out for a work leaving your child back at home and you are an inspiration to your child and your child needs it okay so don't be guilty about going to work leaving your child at home and whenever you are at home in the weekends in the e- evenings in the nights in the mornings or whatever time you are able to spend time with your child be present with them 100% emotionally physically and spiritually uh, find a game that special game that you play with your child for that particular time find something that makes you both happy i'm sure you will also feel very very happy from within because you won't feel stressed out and your child will also love to be with you and um, the connection seeking attention seeking things will definitely change the child will understand that okay this is my time i'm going to be connecting with my child and the child's emotional cup will also be filled while i say that i will also suggest you to have some uh, thing uh for yourself for self care or something for yourself to feel your stress levels go down so that when you enter your house you be very happily spending time with your child instead of complaining anything or instead of thinking about what others say or what others do etc don't think about all of that just concentrate on your child and the well being so having uh, you know this particular thing right now the child is seeking connection but when you keep ignoring it 
i'm sure that after a few years when a child grows up the relationship will be drifted away and when you seek the connection when you start seeking the connection it might not be there so uh, right now when the child is there seeking for your connection give them the connection that they want so that you know even in future uh, even after the child is grown up to 30 years or 40 years the still the connection still remains the same and uh, with love so i hope everybody who watches this video will get some insights and uh, if you have any such things to discuss or if you have any of the uh, any of the issues that you have and you want my personal recommendations suggestions tools techniques and strategies uh, there is a form in the description below which you can fill be as elaborate as possible just like how this parent did so that i can help you with whatever i can I'm sure this video would have given you a great insights and I would love to see your comments on this. Thank you so much and whatever parenting concerns you have feel free to fill the form so I can take up one by one and I can post a detailed video on it. Thank you so much and uh, follow me on Instagram to catch the daily snippets of my life. Thank you and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.